in this video, I'm going to show you a way to actually increase sales. Yep. Increase sales and improve your future reviews with one strategy, which is very overlooked. And I'd never seen a, another author really follow through on this, but if you do, you will do better. Okay. So look, every commenter that you have commenting on your book, look, you can comment back. You can write something. So there's two things you can do. You can reply to a good comment and you can reply to a bad comment. Here's how to reply to a bad comment. Now, first of all, the bad comment replies, it's not just for the initial commenter. It's for all the people who will come in the future for them to see it. What do they want to see? They want to see you professional, you care, you don't get angry and you are a good person. Okay. And this is hard sometimes because if somebody wrote you a bad review on something you worked very hard on, your impulse is to get frustrated and angry or sad or depressed or have other, other negative emotions, but you, you can't show that. So you have to always, you know, say that they still bought your book. You appreciate their time and you're sorry that your book didn't meet their expectations and you have to offer them. Now, here's the thing here's how you reverse all this. You have to explain them in very nice ways, very cordial, that actually the book does offer the value that they complain about because very likely in 80% of the cases, it's something that they didn't understand. They misread something, they read too quickly, they didn't understand some point, and then they're the ones complaining. So very carefully, you have to explain that, no, the book does cover that. In fact, the book covers that in detail and even goes above and beyond. And so, by the way, so when somebody reads this review, not only they see your professionalism and that you care and that you're present and that you answer, because that actually does make a difference for people in their buying decision. What another thing that helps is that you actually explain how your book is good. This gives you an opportunity to explain another place to explain where your book is good. And if they are reading this review, if the next potential reviewers are reading this review, they're going to be like, oh, this book is good. There's another way the book is good. And they, that's going to influence their, pos their decision positively. Also, you can point out places in the book where they get a lot of value. And that's kind of like you're literally writing to the people who are potentially getting the book next. You are essentially telling them, hey, right here in the book, you get a lot of value. Here's extra things you get in the book. So that way, actually, this is more going to, instead of that bad review damaging your sales, you can actually have that bad review helping you to increase your sales as much as possible. Of course, it affects your star rating, which is bad, but still, you can make the best of it. And if you have a good review that somebody wrote, you can still comment on it and you can say, hey, that's really great that you noticed some part of the book. That is really what makes this book stand out and that's really what makes this book help people. Guess what that does? Next people who are reading this, again, they see you care, they see you're present and they see an extra point why your book is good. So use these comments and I know it's time consuming. I myself rarely use it. I, sorry, a little bit hypocritical here but it does influence the reviews. And by the way, I do use this just not on Amazon, but I do get a chance to, uh, in, in other places, I do comment very much and I do comment, follow up on a lot of the negative reviewers, just not on the positive ones because there's so many of them. So do this and it will make you look good, even better to your next potential buyers.